Hey guys, this is Jen from Catascrap Designs. I hope everybody's doing well today. I am doing the hashtag 100 day challenge, ATH. Um, I am on day 23. I'm gonna actually do 23 and 24 together. So 23 is clothing tags, which I have one here. And 24 is a washer. So I'm gonna incorporate that into um, my clothing tag. So basically I'm just going to, <clears throat> I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use scraps to cover this up, both sides. Um, and this is one of the scraps that I am working on on Antonio's um, new kit. So I am just gonna go ahead and glue this on. And I wanna get the B in. <clears throat> So, I didn't do that even, which is okay, because <clears throat> I'm going to do half. In half. So I'm just going to cut this off. And this tag is does have rounded corners. I'm just trying to make sure I get the rounded corners. It also has a hole right there. I just want to make sure I get that as well. I don't know if I'm going to make it bigger or smaller, so I'm just going to, just so I know where exactly it's at. I think I could have used, let's see. Yeah, this is the size. Okay. So we got the front. So now I'm gonna do the back. And again, I wanna keep the B. So I'm gonna try to get this straight this time. Got a little, <clears throat> excuse me, a little extra glue here. Just gonna wipe that off. If 
to get glue on your scissors, you just get a little bit of alcohol and it'll come right off. So I just gotta clean these with alcohol. And using this will be good because then I could use this. I could put this aside for my journal. This doesn't want to cut, probably because it's still wet. This one is a little bit more <sighs> like the glue is still wet. This one's a little more rounder than what's on, <clears throat> which is fine. We're going to do that just for the top. Just want to make sure I get it out of here. I'm going to take my tea dye and distress around the sides. It still has a little bit of the espresso on it, so which is fine. Okay. I didn't get right here. So I'm thinking we do need a sentiment. Just thinking where to put it. This could be the front. He's on the bottom. These seem kind of big. Okay, 
keep going back to that crate. I like that crate. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for reach. I could be using create too much. And we're going to darken that up. And we're going to put it right here. <clears throat> and I think to get my, my butterflies. I have some new ones, but they're not what I need. I need a little yellow one. This should be too big. All right, we're gonna use this yellow one here. Let's see which way. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I just wipe it off here because we put a little glue there. Okay. Then got this I'm not sure what, how thick it is or what it is so let me open it it's black I want to use something black okay so it is string I kind of wanted to use a little bit of ribbon. So I'm going to use both. I'm 
that. Let's see here. Don't know if they're all going to fit through this. No, the hole's too small. Okay. Let's see if just this will fit through. Cut it on a slant. I don't want to punch a bigger hole, so it's got to go. There we go. Okay. So we have the washer right there. And being this <clears throat> didn't want to go, I'm going to tie this around in a knot. Make sure it stays. Gonna cut that off. <clears throat> okay, well, this is our tag with the washer. And that will go in the journal I'm currently working on now. Being this is the same paper. So that was an easy, um, easy task for the two days. The washer and the clothing tag. Clothing tags are easy. I mean, you're just making another tag. You're covering it up. So... This is it. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, please do. We'll have videos that come out um, weekly. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you for hanging out. Talk to you soon. Bye.